That was the quickest move ever. Had. There! Everything's working again! Everything's happy. Show... This is me. <laughs> there we are. Here. So, as always... Hello fellow Cravers and welcome to the CTG Podcast, episode 166. It is July the 1st. This is the June edition of the podcast. As always, you have me, GD, and I am joined this week, this month, as we're now monthly, by Doc. How are you, mate? I'm good. Uh, Hot. It's been... Miserable. The thing is, we, <laughs> we've been away for, what has it been, about two months now? Um, the yeah. reason we didn't do one uh, last month was because, to be honest, we had the 24 hours. Uh, we had we had other projects and we had work that we had to do, unfortunately. But um, we're back, and um, yeah, we have got quite a few about oh, what happened over the last month. Yeah, fair bit. But uh, and also we have got Ryan in chat as well. So people who are listening to the um, uh, what's it called, the catch up of this, or watching this on YouTube or which, um, if you hear it was talking about Ryan, that's the reason. Or oh, we have a banner. You mean this? Wait, do you mean this thing down here? We've always yeah, had, thing. we've always had this thing down here. <laughs> the banner that's slowly going across at the bottom. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We've we've had that. We've had that now for over a year, Ryan. <laughs> hey, Billy, how you doing, mate? Hi, Billy. Hey, hey. we miss you. We do. <laughs> Um, well, I've never seen it as I'm on Skype. But, um, yeah, so uh, let's just explain a couple of things while we're here. It's really warm for both of us. Um, if people do not know, like I said, it's July the 1st. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in the UK. Um, which I know there's places in other countries where, oh god, that's nothing. It's hot to us. We're not used to this. We're British. We, yeah. when we, we when we have this nice weather, we're right for about a couple of days. We've had this for over a week now, and by the looks of things, we've got it for another couple of weeks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if anything does happen, unfortunately, it might be the heat's fault, but, uh, yes. Hot and clammy. That's the best way of putting it. If we pass out through sweating too much, yeah. don't um, blame don't us. Don't blame us. It shows our dedication. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, um, so, yes, we're here to talk about gaming, and of course, one of the main things that has happened over the past month is a little show called E3, um, I think, and Entertainment Expo, yeah. Electronic Entertainment Expo, yes, so hot, I feel like a fried egg right now, thank you, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, um, yeah. yeah, so uh, of course E3 was uh, this m last month. Um, I am going to say I think this has been one of the better E3s uh, for a long while, in my opinion. Um, I think a lot of it has been because it's been a lot more talk about games, where other ones have been talking about hardware or guess what? Look at this. This is our figures. How this has done. Look, it's a VR yeah. headset. We know everything has a VR headset nowadays, apart from yeah. Xbox. <laughs> Hey, John, Which is quite back. surprising, since Microsoft have their... Um... Uh, but they, they had HoloLens today. I yeah. think they've dropped that, and now they have their mixed reality headset. Yeah, they got they got the mixed VR uh, AR. Yeah, which... Um... Yeah, oh, Ryan says it's crap, Eve. I don't... You got, you got to love it. Like I said, it was all about games, which we didn't really... We no, don't really have. And... Um... I think it, it depends on where you was looking. I think if you was looking at um, as a, a Sony perspective of it, then yeah, I would say it has been a little bit of a downside. But they did warn us about that, didn't they? they did say yeah. that they were going to be talking about these four. They were going to highlight these four games, which we already knew about. Last Us Two. Um, 
Death Stranding, which as much as they show us of that, we still have no idea what the hell's going on. Yes, because it's... It's a Kojima game. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's what he does. He does best. I just... I, let, let's, let's talk about Death Stranding first. Um, okay. So, I have... With, okay, so by what we saw, I think was game footage. I'm not 100 sure. Could be. <laughs> I think we. Yeah, did. we're not too sure. We're not sure what's going on with that game. Um, and by lots of things, it's you, you, it's a simple. It's a delivery game, but at the same time, there's these weird monsters that don't live in the same time parallel as us. But if they touch you, it basically. Each your um time, <laughs> yeah, something and, like that. And the rain also speeds up aging and time, or something like that as well. Or well, the rain, yeah, but it doesn't have to make sense. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, uh, the only thing that I understood from it, which did make some sense, is what the baby's there for now. Yeah. Um. So, uh, what we understand from this is that the baby is actually a clone of the person who's carrying them, and so because it's like this said, I think there was one bit where um, I know I think the worried that they would destroy. Uh, by the sounds of things, once you die, it causes a huge explosion, which takes out mm. the surrounding area. But of course, because you've got the clone baby, because of how quickly it speeds up your aging process it speeds up the baby to a certain point where you're the same age as what you was <laughs> it's not going to make sense but doesn't need to doesn't because it's a Kojima game a fair, Metal Gear never really made sense for most of it uh, yeah but uh, yeah <laughs> but the, the, like you do it and then it'll be like some random thing be like, oh, okay. the thing is I think if anything it's just proven to us one thing that um Kaji Konami did have some kind of leash on Kojima and said, "No, let's just let's just rein it in a little bit here with the story." And now he's actually been yeah. released by Sony. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to a point that um, Norman Re Norman Reeves is in it, and he's looking at it thinking, "I have no idea what I'm doing." <laughs> Well, that's the best thing. The only person who actually understands it is Kojima. <laughs> I'd yeah. rather get fingered by salad fingers. <laughs> Wait till EGX, babe. Oh god. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, do you want to say anything about Death Stranding? I, I, I still fucking am. No, I'm. I'm. I'm I kind of like the mystery around it. It's not giving away anything at all. Yeah. Um. Which is kind of nice. Well, I'm, I'm at the same time I'm thinking where we've now known about this what three, four years, and we're yeah. still looking at it, thinking, so oh, what is this game? <laughs> it kind of just you kind of have sort of an idea that you should normally have sort of an idea of what's going on, and I'm I'm starting to yeah. think when Metal Gear Solid first came out, was this the same reaction? Because I, I'm going to be honest, when when the first Metal Gear Solid came out. I was too young to actually understand what was going on with this. And now well, uh, we've... No, because like when Metal Gear first came out, it was all about like, tactical espionage. And yeah, you had the random randomness of it, like the, but the, the randomness disappearing the guys sequence, and stuff yeah. like that. And and that was it. Yeah. And um, But yeah, it was, but this is just it's absolutely weird. absolutely off the wall. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know what? When the actual game comes out, whenever the game comes out, it might be to a point where, oh, okay, now this actually makes sense. <laughs> no, <laughs> the the game's actually going to come out, you're going to complete the game, and we still will be asking questions of what the hell did we just play. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, we liked it. I thought the baby powered the flashy... I thought the baby powered the flashy light gun. <laughs> Yeah, yes, the gun is powered by baby. <laughs> yeah. I can already see, yeah, uh, and Ryan, this is like a bad dream. Yeah, at the end of it all, yeah. it turns out it was all a dream. <laughs> we, had, oh, yeah. we ended up back in the house in PT. <laughs> oh, that was fun. 
Yeah, I never actually played it, but then I think you understood why I never actually played PT. I'm not a huge, when it comes to those kind of horror games, a fanatic of it. Um, no, that's it. Yeah, uh, it, the whole game is the baby's dream. <laughs> it's definitely what baby's dream yeah, of. Flashy what bits babies... and monsters that live out of your own time. Yeah, right. It's what babies dream of. Yes, baby's dream of Norman Reavers. In a in a game where he has got some invisible time things that uh, I, I, I generally do agree that a lot of people do dream about normal normal readers. Yeah, read. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Well, um, yeah. So at the moment, there has been no release date for it. Um, we think there was game footage, um, and we understand that there's a lot of walk, <coughs> and there's a disgusting scene where you had to pull a nail out. That's not still not nice. nice. Yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, that uh, was Death Stranding in a nutshell. Yeah, simple enough. We have no idea what's going on, <laughs> but we could have predicted that before E three. So, yeah. Um, anyway, um, Doc, there has been plenty of games that happened at E three. Uh, is there any game that you want to talk about? In well, I'm really excited for Fallout seventy six. Which is, so, we got, a, that kind of sort of got announced, was it two weeks before E3, didn't it? Yeah, it, it got a little little trailer in West Virginia. Yeah, which the... I've never known much right. about it, there's a lot of rumours. Yeah. So it's uh, obviously a multiplayer Fallout, online survival. I'm going to be amazing at it. Well, Usual kind of jazz. Well, th this is the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of interested in it, but at the same time I'm a little worried about this. So... What we understand is that this is going to be, like you said, an online survival game. Um, yes. Where you're going to be starting out in Vault 76. 76. Uh, which is supposed to be the vault which they didn't do any test on. It was that it was going to be open 20, 25 years after it was closed. And they were basically going to be the first people who were going to be going onto the whatever is left of West Virginia. Yeah, but it wasn't, because obviously this is set after the war stopped, and yeah. it's all cool, but, like, you're going out, and you can make friends, you can fight with people, you can, like, like, the multiplayer aspect is really good of it. Mm. It's going to be awesome. But this is the thing, like I said, I'm more worried about the online bit, because as much as they're saying... But you don't have to play it online, apparently. You don't have to play it online. Right, so that's the thing. Is it apparently there's like a co-op option, like most survival games do? That's good. I'm happy with that. So you can just have online with your friends if you want that, but then it's gonna be quite fun nuking other people. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I've been, I ended up watching a lot. Of, well, most of us ended up watching it together, didn't we? Uh, when it came to E3. Yes. And um, I watched a lot of it with uh, Tat and Kev. Um, yeah. And uh, Kev, in particular. He's, he's not that happy with it all because of it being online. The thing is, when it comes to Fallout, the, it, which I understand where a lot of people are getting upset, they play Fallout for the fact of it being a um, a single a single player on your own type of thing. Yeah, but surely like change is good. Change, oh, change yeah, makes the game so, fresh. Yeah. Um, like generally, like people have on about Fallout. Multiplayer four, like Elder Scrolls, you know, they're not doing like Fallout Online, like Elder Scrolls Online, or anything like that. They're doing a survival game, which it fits in that genre yeah. because they try to make the survival games, you know, you keep the survival mode on that and Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. And there's always, there's, you know, there's a survival mode they brought into Skyrim recently. So doing that online, which a lot of people play online survival games now in a Fallout universe, you know, it's, 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 it's progressing with. You know what's happening at the moment. Yeah. You're getting back in camera. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, because I, my setup is so I've got Skype, which if people don't yeah. know, we use Skype when we're doing. Um, I've got Skype and the camera just facing here. So uh, OBS is on the other side, which shows me what you guys can see at home. Um, so I just looked at it for I'm let me off shut a little bit. I can't go any further because I'll hit this. <laughs> but. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Back to back to Fallout. But yeah, but I think I just feel it's moving with the times. It's giving people what they want. It gives them the option not to, but to play it with their friends as well. Yeah. Which I, which I think is going to be. Uh, it's the kind of game that you can play with friends. You know, you always have companions, and then you're always working with people. 
Yes. <laughs> so I, I feel it's actually a good move. Well, it's like what Billy says here. Who can we trust with the mini nuke? It's not just that. Not... Me. You can always <laughs> trust me with explosive, GD. No, you say that. Because, always. No, at the same time, always. you say that because always. when it comes to these kind of things, if it was a choice between me and you doing this, everyone would trust you with the explosives for the fact they know that I will find a way to use it, which causes problems for us. Uh, like, when, when, when have we when have we ever played a game, GD, where you've had an explosive and I've shot it? <laughs> you do know we've got footage of that, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... See, Ryan trusts me. I... Thanks. <laughs> and we'll put me in charge of the, of the codes for the bombs. Well, that, that's, that's the thing, another thing about the bombs. Um, I feel, uh... It depends on how difficult it is to get hold of these codes. And by the looks of things, it's going to be a five-letter code that spells out bingo. Uh, for I don't think it's going to spell out bingo. I'm, I'm hoping it does, because that's what is shown on the thing. Because I can't think of anything else yeah, it's going to spell out. Well, no, because it could be random codes. I was just going to go and type bingo, because you won't need to have the codes on No, I, I've really. got... Uh, this is the thing. I don't think it's going to be random codes. I think the keys... So I don't think you've actually got to type yeah. in a code to uh, make these um, bombs, th these silos with the nuclear missiles in, which I'm still going to guess is going to be difficult for you to get into as well. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. It's not going to be like yeah, straightforward. It's not going to be easy. Um, but um, uh, I just, uh, I want to see how, as long as the code has no vowels. Yeah, good point, Billy. <laughs> Oh, poor Billy and his vows. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's also, I'm quite excited because we're going to start getting the Fallout videos again, like we did with Fallout 4. Yes. We normally do the random vi the cartoon videos. The cartoon they, videos. Were, they were spot on. Yeah. Oh, GD's bad. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah, the thing is, I love the videos and we're going to get more of those as well. But, um... Yeah. Which is going to be quite exciting from that. Um, look, uh, the thing is, the game comes out later this year. Uh, what date was it? October, wasn't it? No, November. It's, uh, it's, yeah, I just realised we've both... November, it's November. It's November, but I think you gave us an exact date, didn't it? Um, 26. 26. Yep, yeah, that'll do. There we go. Let's go with 26. Even though it's 14. No, no, no. No, I'm no, right <laughs> first time it was 14. Yeah. So, yeah, th that's a good thing. And uh, this is something that Bethesda has done before. They did it with Fallout 4 as well, didn't they? When the game actually yeah. was coming out the, the month that they pretty much announced it. And they've done but it. But they do that quite often. Yeah. Like, they, they know when it's going to come out. They don't make you wait years. Skyrim yeah. six. And Skyrim six. Elder Scrolls six. Elder Scrolls six. We. That's all right. Now this. This is the thing. I've had a couple of people ask me about this, saying, "Oh, did they announce Elder Scrolls six? I said, "Yeah, sort of." Oh. Yeah, in, in, it in be? the only Bethesda way you can think of, just at the end of a snippet. Yeah, it's good. Oh, where's it going to be? Oh, when's it coming out? Oh no, they've just said Elder Scrolls six is going to be made. But you're looking and thinking, they kind of just announced something that we already knew. <laughs> oh, we knew it was going to come out. We just didn't know, you know. We just didn't know they were going to do it this year. And obviously, they done Rage Rage Two as well. Well, no, no, no. Which Elder Scrolls Six isn't coming out this year. We're just going to say that now. Oh no, God no, God no. <laughs> they, they're pretty much uh, they, because they announced that and was it Star Field, something like that. Something Star. Something Star. They're, they're basically the space version of it. Um, but they have. Uh, this looks really good. Yeah, but I, well, what we've I haven't really seen anything of them. They're shown as a little yeah. screenshot with the words. <laughs> yeah. But um, the one thing that we do understand from these two, though, they are by the sounds of things being made for next gen. So. Or just PC. They're not just going to be bringing it out for PC, mate. It's well, they should the... because it's the best way to go. But is it going to be next gen? Yeah, they have actually said next gen. They did say next gen during the pre uh, press conference. So, um, so but which uh, people would look at it thinking, oh, that means it's going to be a long time. Which, look, it is going to be a long time um, anyway. If they're only showing us a quick run down this path and the work. 
They haven't even announced where uh, Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be. <laughs> yeah, they think they've worked it out, though. They? They the thing is, you know they've worked it out. They've they just shown us, that, yeah, we are working on these, even though you kind of know. Why, why bother? Because everyone wants an Elder Scrolls 6, and Bethesda just knows to. Oh, oh look, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I prefer um, Fallout over Elder Scrolls. Today. Um, but, um, yeah, I, the thing is, the only reason I ended up buying Skyrim was because. I think I'm just a bit of a Bethesda fanboy, to be honest. I, I, you know me, I'm more of a... If anything, I'm, I'm more of a fan... I would say I'm more of a fan of Capcom, if anything. Um, I, uh, why for next gen? I, I reckon they'll release it on current gen, though, as well. And then they'll just do an album edition. I think... I'm going to be honest, I think it depends on when it comes out. Now, you got to look at next gen, uh, the current gen that we're on. Uh, we've heard this now for about five, six years. I think it is uh, with the PlayStation five Four. Years. Yeah, five years with the PlayStation Four and the Xbox One. Uh, so we are—they already know that they are coming to the end of this generation, which I would say probably about give it two, maybe three years. And you're looking, like I said, with Elder Scrolls Six and the Star, whatever it's called, game. Um, the thing is, if they're just showing us a logo at the moment, then it is going to be a long time before we get these two games. Uh, by that time, we're probably going to get multiple versions of Skyrim that come out. By the way, yes, I saw what you said, Billy, on Alexa. Yeah, <laughs> was, yeah. Uh, which, that, all right, I want to say about that. So, I love it more where people were laughing, ha ha ha, it's a joke. And then they actually put it out on American versions. It never actually came over here. It really bugs the hell out of me. Europe. 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 Say Europe again? Europe. <laughs> what? <laughs> you say Europe really weird. I say Europe how I say Europe. 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 But either way, it never actually came... Just sound like the guy from Hot Fuzz. Europe. Europe. Uh, either way, it never actually came over to here, which is a little bit disappointing. Where? Uh, the UK. <laughs> well, no, that, that, you can't just say UK, can you? EU. <laughs> I'm not part of the EU. I love this. Latte, your rope. <laughs> Who's rope? I rope. <laughs> Sorry, carry on, I'll stop. Thank you. Well, yeah, like I said, it never actually came um, our side, which was annoying. America <laughs> had it, and we. Um, I would have, I would have had it once to have a go at myself. Um, but yeah, yeah, but still, I love it more for the fact that it was everyone was laughing. Oh, it's a joke. Nothing's ever a joke when Bethesda pre presents it at a press conference. Oh no! <laughs> it's like yeah, no, we actually did it. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, a few more things that happened at Bethesda as well. Um, Rage Two. Um, uh, yeah. and Andrew WK. He gave us a performance where a lot of people didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Which was great. Um, what do you think of Rage Two? Now we've seen some game footage of it. Yeah, it looks fun. I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm hoping. I won't. I don't. I don't think I'll buy it and release. Like how much I do, kind of like them games. I don't... Uh, it's... <coughs> Sorry, there's so much you can do with like a running gun. And yeah. Destroy everything. Well, I'm. I'm, I'm looking at it where we've seen the trailer for when it was first announced. We're thinking, oh, of cool, course, it's a game that's not really taking itself too seriously. And then we saw the gameplay of it and thinking. Okay, is this are we supposed to be taking this seriously, or are we not supposed to be taking this seriously? I I, I have no idea what side of the where, what side. The of trailer the felt very Borderlands. To that's me. that's the thing. I don't know if we're supposed to be taking it as a Borderlands style of game. How we're going through this, or are we supposed to be taking it, which oh, I would more understand from Bethesda, sort of like a a, a Fallouty kind of game. Yeah. Where there is a few jokes there, but it's serious. There is serious things that are happening here. Yeah. And I, that's the thing. I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying. I never actually played the original Rage either. All I know from it is. Oh, I did. It was good. Yeah, like bits of it was serious, but yeah. not a lot of it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I I might have a go of Rage just to see what that was like. But I've got a feeling yeah. even if I had a go of that, I still wouldn't get probably what experience we're supposed to be getting from Rage Two. I think they are basically no. going in this with a, a new look to what is happening with that game. Yeah, Rage was a rental game at best, according to Ryan. 
Or a Steam sale. Or a Steam sale, yeah. Um, what else was there, Bethesda, I think? Uh, uh, let's move from Bethesda. Yeah, the, the, I think that was the main thing. No, we've covered a lot of Bethesda. Yeah, that's, right, good, yeah. that's fine. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Maybe uh, something to yes, talk about Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Sea of fucking Thieves. Right, so... Uh, first of thing, um, of course, there was it, well, there wasn't that much that was announced at E3 that we didn't already know. Um, no, they covered a lot of it in like interviews and stuff afterwards. Yeah, um, but um, they kind of shown us a, gave us a bit more idea of the next two updates which are coming out. Um, one that's coming out this month, which is uh, Curse Sales. What's that? Sorry, the Curse Sales. Curse sales. And then there's another one that's coming out in September, which is the uh, land one, which I'm trying to remember. I, I, I try... Forgotten Shores? What was it? Sorry? Something like Forgotten Shores, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember. I should know this. Yeah, you're the, you're the Sea of Thieves guy, mate. <laughs> Mr. Captain Bulge. <laughs> it's all about the bulge. It's about the bulge. But, um, but either way, um, the... Like I said, we've got uh, two new updates which are coming out, and this is just up to September that we know of. We know there's going to be a few more updates, uh, bigger yes. updates. And, um, you know what, I, I'm i actually excited about what is actually coming out. Um, I am. I know you are, but I'm, I'm too. Um, I The thing is, the Hungering Deep, I think, was really good. Um, I think I think all the updates they've done have been really good. So you had the Hunger and Deep, which was the Meg. Yeah. Which was absolutely amazing. Right, even just, like, the Megaphone brought a lot of people together. Yeah. And it still does. Yeah, yeah, it does. And then you had the Thrones, which, which that was, was also that great was fun. That was something different that was added into the game. Um, so if people don't know what... Yeah. So after the Hunger and Deep, which brought in the Megalodon, uh, which we call Meg... Yeah. Um, so we is basically our new pet on the game. Actually, a pet. You really should be careful if you see that in the sea at the moment. Yeah, we looked at it the other night. <laughs> yeah. Um. After that, I think it was the, so that was around for about two weeks, and then they started introducing the um the weekly the, 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 the fortnightly challenge. Two weeks, bi-weekly. It's bi-weekly. Yeah. It's not weekly. It's two weeks. We'll call it fortnightly challenge then. Instead. Yeah. Um, and the one that got introduced was the throne. So the point of this was that there was, I think, was it ten thrones that you had to find? There was ten thrones, five solo, five, uh, two crews. Yeah. So, Four more crews. Yeah, so with the solo ones, the thing is, they were quite, there was some that were really quite difficult to find, some that was easier to Yeah, find. so you had, like, Marauder's Arch, and they were a bit more difficult than others, and stuff like that. And... That's nice. Yeah, and um, I think uh, the newest one has just come out now, which is Skeletons with yes. Gunpowder Barrels. Gunpowder. So I... Gunpowder. Skeletons with Gunpowder Barrels. I've not been on yet. Yeah, same here. So I... But, yeah. We, we're probably, we, the thing is, we're planning to go on to it after the podcast. The podcast. Um, we'll have a galley. Which, uh, I think the one thing about it that I enjoy is that they ended up bringing in the uh, build rat uh, sub group as well from it as well um yes the build up billions 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 yes so uh if you complete these challenges these challenges you get billions which uh gives you a cost a costume um sorry apparel cosmetic cosmetic because this yeah. week of weapons yeah so this week it's weapons this fortnight is yeah, weapons. weapons last yeah. fortnight it was a hat a coat and a skirt wasn't it a dress a dress and but yeah. the thing is, you had enough bullions from it that you had to use them for other things as well. So you didn't have buy to just buy yeah. them for the clothing or the weapon. But you can also save them for the other weeks. Yes, uh, but you could also get them so that you can also upgrade your other three classes that you've got in the game. Yes, um, you can buy a rep, which they've now changed to it's a full rep level. It's a full <coughs> rep level. So whatever level you yeah. are, it will go up one level. You go up a level. So say like you're. 20 odd on Order of Souls, yep. you'll wrap a level to your next level. I'm 40 odd on Gold Hoarders, so I'll wrap a level. So, going from that, does it go up a level, but it also gives how much you've already gone up on it? Yeah, so it's a full so level. It'll be just a full level. That's that's alright. So, yeah. you don't have to say, like, if you're on the very tip of the end of one of them. Yeah, no, nobody goes to the tip. No, of course, no one goes to the tip. No one just likes the tip. Um, but, um,. Yeah, I, I would say 
I've I've been enjoying these things, and I think the other stuff that they've got planned down the line, I think Rare has done really well with this game. And, yeah, uh, like the, obviously they've got Curse Sales, which is Skeleton Ships coming yeah, in. Yeah, and uh, it's which also will probably add to game afterwards as well. Yeah, and it's also going to be bringing the free man um, ship. Free man shipping, yeah. Um, and then which has been obviously called upon quite a lot, which you actually see in the trailer as well. There's a screenshot yeah. of it. Um, and then of course the uh, what was it Forgotten Land? Forgotten Shores. Forgotten Shores, which um, of course is going to be bringing us more land. Which, yeah, so it's, it's an extension of the map, but it's very different to the rest of it. It's volcanoes. So where you have where you have the free bits, you've got, you know, they're, they're very different how they work. Yeah. So you've got the wild, which is very dark, gloomy, a bit more choppy, shores of plenty, nice, smooth waters. Then you've got the ancient, which is a bit more choppy, but nice. This is, we're going to dig you over. Yeah, we're going to be basically throwing hot stones yeah, at you. But, anyway. <laughs> but then that's going to bring in the, the robo. Yeah as well which is something that players have asked for and this is what i've noticed about rare they're really listening to what the mm -hmm. the players want so like in this recent update everyone's on about the skeletons how the accuracy is pinpoint yeah on every shot so they've changed it mm -hmm. the thing is they do one thing i have noticed that they do do a main maintenance every week which is something i'm happy with the thing is i don't mind it being shut down if they're looking at it to improve the game more and more um, and I think the game's now been out, what was it, March when it came out? March 20th. March 20th. So we are, we're, we're three, four, well, we're just over three months into this game at the moment. And so far we've had one medium, what they're classing as a medium size expansion into the game. With the Yeah, the, the, yeah. Because like, everyone was like, oh, Hunger and Deep's not really an update because it's only doing the one shot. But actually, it's brought in the bi-weekly events, which they were going to do weekly, but they felt it was better to do bi-weekly so people have more of a chance to do it. Well, then again, you're saying it didn't bring that much. It brought in a shock. It gave us a drum and it gave us a microphone to shout at people. I feel like, and it, like it did bring us yeah. quite a few bits and pieces, which has improved the game. Yeah, oh, God. Like, when before that, like you saw on ship, you definitely got blown up. Oh, yeah. You couldn't speak to anyone else. They gave you this microphone so you could talk to people. And it's had such a good effect on the community that people are actually working together. Um, you know, you you kind of meet more people. Like I've added people that I've met and stuff like this because they're just getting on well with them. Yeah. Well, I think one thing also which I'm expecting to be coming out in the update this month, um, the cursed cannonballs. Um, yes, yes, they, they will be. There's yes, Doc Stream. Uh, yeah, Doc Streams. You can find him. He's usually on uh, mixer.com forward slash. You, you say it. Dot Robin. Dot Robin, yeah. Um, yeah. And I'll be honest, most of the stuff that he's streaming at the moment is uh, Sea of Thieves, but Thieves. I'm usually there. Matt, uh, Twisted Matt is usually with him as well. Or uh, John is usually with you as well in that one. Which, uh, if you don't know yeah. who John is, go. If you get a chance, go onto a YouTube channel and go and watch um, some of the Sea of Thieves there. Uh, especially the earlier stuff, because. Um, uh, it, I think it was me, John, and Doc who basically joined together to do some stupid things on there. Yeah. And we've had a ton of great adventures playing that game. One of them. This is why I love the game so much, the memories you've had from mm. it. I've, I've made more stories in that game than a game with an actual storyline. Yeah, same here. I, I, I would say I think I've had so much fun from it. I think, okay, yeah, this might be a later one that we've done, but I had, just having the shot uh, Megalodon, Park up right behind us. It was a glitch yeah. in the game, but it was there looking at it and thinking, all right, this is fun. We now have a pet. <laughs> and then when yeah, we actually definitely. started to move, we learned that uh, the Megalodon can be uh, a free willy on us. <laughs> Go over yeah, the ship. he jumped over the boat. Yeah, and then swam away. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, we all we're saying is if you have got Games Pass, we do recommend to have a go of Sea of Thieves. Um, especially with the new update, which is coming out sometime in this month. Uh, they haven't given a date yeah. yet. So we'll see how that goes. And I, I will be bringing a lot more kind of viewers from my channel into the game as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I get a lot of people asked to play with me because they think I'm awesome. And uh, hopefully we'll get more footage onto our YouTube channel as well of it. Ventures, Captain Ball and his uh, room. <laughs> yes. 
So, yes, indeed. Yeah, so we're going to see more of that. Well, the thing is, we have got a few things that we have got planned. Uh, I think we filmed something yesterday. We did uh, F1 2015. Uh, so we're going to see some of that. We're, and I know a lot of people will look at it thinking, that's a very serious game for what we do. Surprising we can make a serious game not serious. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I expect to see some stuff like that. And, of course, uh, another game which I'm going to talk about now, uh, Forza Horizon 4. It's been. I'm so glad you said um, Forza. What did you say, Forza? What did you think I was going to say? You thought I was going to say Fortnite, didn't you? You know exactly what you thought I was going <laughs> to yeah. say. Yeah. Do you Xboxes? I have it all. I have PC actually. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got every. Yeah, I've got everything. I have. I have it all. I go well, apart from a Switch. Which uh, I've got a Switch, but I think. But um, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Forza Horizon Four is going to be coming to the UK this time round, mainly set in um, uh, Scotland uh, this time. And yeah. um, you know what? I'm excited about that. I, I, I'm a huge. I'm more of a fan of the Horizon series over the motorsport series of the uh, of Forza. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. The more kind of casual drive around. But it, it's the closest thing that they're going to get to an arcadey version of their game. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, like I said, it's going to be set in the UK. Um, it is going to be coming to Games Pass as well uh, on release day, like they said, with all their exclusive games. Um, and we are definitely going to be playing it when it first comes out, uh, if it works, of course. Um, I, I, I bet there's going to be a huge surge of that game, like there was with Sea of Thieves. There was a huge surge when that came out. It's cute. It was Xbox with exclusive. Yeah, I, I agree. PlayStation does kill the Xbox when it comes to exclusives. But at the same time... It hasn't got Sea of Thieves. Yeah, it hasn't got Sea of Thieves, <laughs> yeah. Um, but then again, I think that's that's the thing with PlayStation. I think when it comes to exclusives that they've got, they've got such a strong library. It's like Nintendo, you could say Nintendo actually kills PlayStation when it comes to exclusives themselves. Yeah, absolutely, um, yeah. Uh, because if you think about it, when it comes to Nintendo... When it comes to uh, their think... own game, it's never usually a bad game. The thing is, it's yeah. Really... Okay, Mario Tennis Aces, it's bad, but it's not bad as in it's glitchy bad. It's bad as in the single player sucks. <laughs> yeah, but also, like, Microsoft doesn't... Sorry, Xbox. No, sorry, yeah, Microsoft is the, get... is the company. Yeah. Xbox is a port of their company where they have PC as well. But... So this is why they cross-play. So when you say... PS kills Xbox with exclusives. Actually, they got Sea of Thieves, they got State of Decay 2, they got the Forza series. Yes, they are on both, but uh, they are part of Microsoft. Yes, and the thing they don't see themselves as, as Xbox. They see themselves as Microsoft as one unity. Plus, they've also just got Ninja Theory. But... Yeah, that's the thing. They just got Ninja Theory, and they've got um, Playground Games who make uh, the Forza Horizon series as well. They, uh, they yeah. actually announced that they all got um, quite a few um, companies now under the Microsoft Studio banner, which is something, I, I think, like we said, the biggest shock of that was Ninja Theory. Uh, if you put... Oh, yeah, because that was, that was so many, that was just that was, that PS4. Was yeah. um, oh, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was PC as well. It was PC. I got on PC. Well, I think a lot of the games that we remember, we know of Ninja Theory 4, they first came out on the PlayStation. Uh, or they yeah. came out just for the PlayStation, like Heavenly Sword, yeah. which was a PlayStation 3 uh, release game, which I still, it's one yeah. of my favourite games on the PlayStation 3. And then, of course, um, Hellblade uh, Senua's Sacrifice. It first came out on the PlayStation, and okay, it's now available on the Xbox, and of course it's available on the PC. Um, but I, I think that is what actually pushed them over the edge. Something I don't know, I, I still haven't seen what the actual reason why they decided to team up with um, Microsoft yet, which I know they've done a couple of interviews about it. Um, oh, and yeah, did they do? I don't know. Oh, I thought, but, is that Ninja Theory? I thought, no, that's Team Ninja. <laughs> Ninja, yeah. Ninja Gaiden's Team Ninja because they do Dead or Alive. Yeah. yeah. And, um, which, oh, about, about Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive 6. They're actually not making it as um, <laughs> as perverted as they usually do. Oh, that's 
That's just Why? That, that's the reason people buy your game. For a whip, isn't it? It's a terrible game. It's a, uh, mm. <laughs> it's a terrible game. I enjoy it. The gameplay is terrible. I don't give a damn. Terrible. I enjoy the goddamn ter game. Ter ter terrible. Whatever. Terrible. I don't, get that. I don't care about it. It's my guilty pleasure. Terrible. We'll talk about that also. So Columbus 6 is here as well. I'm looking for Again? It. it still is. Yeah. I not heard much about it. Mm. But, um, yeah, so, it, like I said, with Xbox, but you got to also think as well with um, Xbox and Microsoft. Um, they don't really have, when it comes to the gaming side of things, they are a lot younger compared to Sony's PlayStation and Nintendo. Now, the thing is, you got to think Nintendo's been around for, who knows? Yeah, but Windows have like games, most of like Windows for years, and they've had games on there, sure. Yeah, it might they, have been they've, like had, they've had games on there. But it's, the thing is, it, they haven't actually owned the, not owned the company, have not actually had it, like, like um, with Ninja Fairy, under the marquee of Microsoft, have they? No. Uh, the thing is, they've been no. there, but they haven't been a Microsoft product. Well, when it comes to PlayStation and Nintendo, uh, they have been, yeah, it's one of our subsidiaries. There. It's either the Japan Studio, which is still PlayStation, or Media Molecule, it's still PlayStation, yeah, um, and of course Nintendo is Nintendo. They they basically make their own games. They're happy doing what the hell they want to do over now. Which mm -hmm. look, as long as you're still bringing me Smash Bros and um, Mario Party and whatever and Pokemon, yeah, but then they make shit out of cardboard boxes. They have good moments and they have one bad moment. They had they've got Nintendo Labo at the moment. They had the Nintendo Wii to, Wii U last time. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. <laughs> uh, poor GD, no more jiggle fish. Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm still look. Uh... <laughs> That's the reason you like it. I like the jiggle. <coughs> Everyone knows I like the jiggle physics. I'm a guy. I like my jiggle physics. <laughs> Don't want <laughs> quote that. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um. Like I said, it, the thing is, it, given in, I think with Microsoft, they're giving them the chance to... They are growing. And I think they have suffered a lot this generation for the fact that they have not had those exclusives. And I yeah. think, well, it's not having the exclusives themselves. It's the fact that um, when they have a game which is exclusive and they end up killing it, like they did with Scalebound... Yeah. It kind of hurts them, and it does. It's noticeable, uh, especially last year. Like I said, with Scalebound last year, and then you go over and look at what PlayStation had, and they ended up having Near Automata, which is now available on the Xbox. Uh, but they also end up having God of War, and the thing is, there is a lot of games that I do want to play on the PlayStation, but I'm still at the stage where if I want to play my multiplayer games, I would go over to the Xbox. Yeah, uh, it just it feels more comfortable and it's easier for me to sort things out with that uh, no playable Waluigi in Smash 0 out of 10 Nintendo you never know they might have joked that he might show up he's in he's in Mario Tennis Aces <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo was mainly for the younger generation yeah I give Nintendo the dues they have been aiming at the younger generation especially what happened with the Wii U and the Wii but I think they have started to realise that the generation that grew up with Nintendo are now much older. And they do try to make it so that it is readily available for those who are adults who still enjoy those games. But at the same time not alienating the target audience that they have grown to be noticed for. Yeah. Um, I think if you look, especially with the Switch itself, there is... A lot more mature games have come out on the Switch uh, compared like to a... Dark Souls. Oh yeah, they've got Dark Souls that are coming out later this summer. Um, they've got Doom that's come out. They've got um, uh, Wolfenstein 2 just came out this week as well on there. I know they've been available on other consoles for quite a while. And of course, yeah, Bayonetta is another good example. Uh, Bayonetta 3 is coming out later. Uh, we don't know when at the moment. But it's nice because there's those games that adults can enjoy, but also the games which are uh, suitable for kids, 
They're suitable for kids, but adults can enjoy them just as. They're, they're yeah. not. They're not uh, like where you would say this game is a kids game. Is it's it's a game. Their games are not for younger generation. The games for everyone. I think it's a good way of looking at Nintendo now. Yeah. Um. While well, they say PlayStation and Microsoft, they are aimed for older generate older generations and teenagers. Yeah. They don't really focus on kids that much. And I know there was connector malls, but that doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Um. Uh. Is there any other games you want to talk about from E3 anyway, mate? It's... No, I think it'll, by by this point everyone knows a lot about E3. So. Yeah, yeah. I, there is one more game I do want to talk about from E3 though, uh, which was from the Sony press conference, um, and that is Resident Evil 2 remake. Is it's finally been announced? We've seen some footage from it. It's going to be coming out on the 25th of January next year. Um, and it's going to be using the Resident Evil engine, which was used in um, uh, Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7. Um, and, Biohazard. And uh, you know what? I'm highly excited for this game. I, I, I'm not known for my horror games, but I do love my Resident Evil games. It's, it's, get, yeah. it's, it, it's the series that I grew up with. Which is weird. Yeah, I like so, but like I just like I said earlier, I'm sick and tired of every, like oh we can't play the game. Let's remake a game. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably play it. Yeah, but I'm just getting sick and tired of just the easy option is just to remake a game. Say so we're already making it E3 for everyone to get excited for a remake. It's like give us something new. Give us a new Resident Evil in the fashion of the old Resident Evil. Do something like that. Uh, yeah, well, this kind of give us new is, characters like Leon. Is older than is is like it must be like eighty right now. Well, this will be young Leon, which is going to be in this game, mate. Well, I know, <laughs> but like you know, give us give us some new characters. Like, well, yeah, I grew up with Leon. I played all the Resident Evils. Love, you know, I think he's a great character. But it's just constant, like year, like yearly, it's remakes, remakes. So, like, yeah, I understand. You know, you've had Crash Bandicoot, you've had Spyro, well, Spyro's coming, Spyro's out, coming soon, out. Yeah. We had Resident Evil, the first one. You know, I think a lot of stuff is getting remade. I, I agree. There is a lot of remakes which are happening. Which, but then again, I think we're at a point when, it, yeah, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy VII remake. We know it's being made, but we didn't hear anything about that during E3. Which I will annoying. not touch that remake. You're not going to touch that remake. No, I'm a massive Final Fantasy fan. And you're scared that it's going to I will affect you. not, because I love 7. I will still replay 7. Mm. Yeah. I don't want it remade. We'll talk about... I don't want it to feel the, ruin the nostalgia for me. Brian, we'll talk about that game in a minute. I know you want <laughs> us to talk about that one game. <laughs> but let's talk about this one first, please. But yeah, uh, like, I said, like you said, remakes, I know, especially this generation, it has been a, a huge... Thing that they've been doing um but i think at the same time i understand why they're doing it they are the thing is we're at a generation now where the games games were getting big when we were younger and now it's like for example resident evil 2 it's 20 years old this year so yeah i understand that but I, I which just, is now making yeah. me think i played that game when i was 10 <laughs> I... Which, well, I, yeah, the thing is, I, I understand. I think the thing is, when when it comes to remake and remasters, I think they can be done good or they can be done bad. And I think we've had so many times where we've had them that they've been done bad, or they've been done so many times, like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> but going back to what Ryan said first, go after Final Fantasy VII, the go after remake thing. Tomb Raider is a great way to show you that you can carry on a franchise but not remake the game. They haven't remade the game. Yet it's a prequel, it's a younger Lara, they've got something to work with. Mm. But it's a re it's a prequel, not a remake. Oh. Yeah, you can't read a prequel to Resident Evil because it'd just be friendly and jolly. But you know, you could I just I just want I, I liked how seven went because it wasn't I like the ones where it wasn't the zombies, like uh, five, where you're in Africa, and then the weird... Yeah, and then six, guys. we don't talk about six. <laughs> six, just 
should just be they should just skip it. No one cares about sex. No. Seven was really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, it was the horror setting. It was the weird cannibals and whatever. I mean, just do something else. Well, then again, at this doing space. But then again, if, well, of course, you. But then again, when it comes out Resident Evil Two, if Resident Evil Two remake does really well. Do, then what do, happens? Do, do, Resident Evil 4 remake. Resident Evil 5 remake. Uh, but, Resident Evil 6. But then, but then... No, we don't do Resident Evil 6. Are we, are we just going to get a new remake of Resident Evil every single year so they catch up with themselves? I hope not. I really hope not. Yeah, Capcom really aren't bringing anything new with the Resident Evil franchise. No, they're not. And I think at the moment they're struggling with that. And I think it's at the fact that they... Uh, the thing is, the kind of not understanding the point is that we don't want it to be actiony anymore. The thing is, with this is the reason why Resident Evil Seven did really well was the fact that it went, they went instead of down the action side of things, they went down the survival side of things. The thing is, it was things in there where okay, you can knock them over, but you hadn't killed them. They were still probably going to be chasing them. And like I said, um, the thing is, I think. Resident Evil 2, I hope this is the last remake that they do. Okay, I would love to see 3 get remade, but Resident Evil 2 is the one that fans have been asking for. That's the thing, I think... Oh, yeah, I think yeah, when, don't I think, get me wrong. I think when fans are asking for something, then yes, it's okay. But Yeah, okay, so yeah. Yeah, we're going to remake it. And then if they don't like the remakes, it takes away their little bit of nostalgia. Yeah. Because I've done it before. I've like played a remake of a game, and I'm like, like Resident, the first Resident Evil when it got remade. Yeah. I absolutely adored the first one when I was younger. But I, then I played the re the remaster. Yeah. And and I was just like, this isn't doesn't feel the same. It just it just didn't feel the same to me. Well, like I said, I think either way, I think Resident Evil Two remake is going to be good. I think people are going to play it; they're going to enjoy it. Uh, there is going to be people who are going to be complaining, complain and say, "Oh, this is not the Resident Evil Two that I remember." Of course, it's not going to be the Resident Evil Two that you remember. It's a remake. They see it. It's remake. You can already see in the gameplay that we've seen. It is different. Yeah. It's already different. There's a certain person in there who dies early on. He's not dead. <laughs> yeah. But the, I think this is the way we've got to look into this and look at it. As, yeah. You know what? I think we should not be calling this a remake. I don't think we should be calling this Resident Evil. But, but, but it is a remake. No. You're taking an idea that's there and that has been there and it worked, and you're oh you're remaking it. So it is a remake. But, you but, can't call it. You can't call it an original. Like it is an original, but you can't call a new one a new IP or. An original game for this IP. Well, this IP. I feel like that there's going to be so much that is going to be changed when this one does come out in in January. That I think it is. I feel like we should be. It should have a different name for it because when I think of a remaster or a remake, I think I know. Uh, yeah, I'm probably saying this already. When I think of a remake and a remaster, I think it's. They basically they're the same a, thing with fancier title. No, a remaster is a more re, like Last of Us Two remaster. They just they, they change, change the graphics, yeah. But it's like what's it called? Yeah. Crash Bandicoot, the trilogy that came out. I would class that as a remake. The thing is, there was enough that there was tiny things that was changed in there, but it was still pretty much down to the wire. How the game played, it was still the same game. By lots of things, what's happening with this Resident Evil Two? There is. What we've seen so far, so much that has been changed from it. Like, for example, the thing is... It... Then give us a new game. Then just, then just give us a new game. Don't just... Crash, Crash is not a remaster. Crash is a remake. A remaster is... Yeah, like Spyro. Spyro is a remake it's as well. It's going to be a remake. It's, it's, the thing is, a remaster is when they just up the graphics. The thing is, the remake is when you have to recode when it. When you've got to recode it and you've got to Properly. change it. The thing is, with Crash and Spyro, they ended up having to just all they had was the the concept art of it. That's it, and then they've just remade it, re remade it. So remade, remade. Yeah. So um, I think we should really stop talking about this because I think it's getting us both slightly angry. No, no, it's not at all. Uh, I, I just, yeah, it's good to get opinions across. And it's good to hear everyone yeah, else talking away with yeah. us as well. Yeah, I just, I just, I, I just know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> evil, <laughs> look, evil, evil way. We're gonna see 
we're just going to see what it's like when it does come out. And as much as that uh, we're saying, we we the thing is, we're going to end up buying this game no matter what because we are fans of Resident Evil Two. We are going to end up buying this I game. Oh well, you're not buying it. Are you sure you're not going to buy? You are going to buy it. Don't lie to me. No, I don't. I don't. I, I don't think I will. I, I really don't think I'm not excited for it. Uh, I haven't brought Crash Bandicoot. I'm probably not going to buy Spyro. Uh, I, uh, uh, I, I do want to buy Spyro. I agree with Ryan with uh, Walking Dead. Though. That game looks pretty sweet. Yes. So, also Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. <laughs> you know my opinion already. Don't, don't, don't. Do you already know my opinion with Red Dead Redemption? You get to be a freaking cowboy. I don't want to be a cowboy. You're I just a cowboy, I be a baby. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's let's go and talk about those two. Games. Let's talk about uh, so Walking De- Overkill's Walking Dead uh, has think now, um, and so far that game. Yeah, it might crash completely. Oh, of course. yeah, because. In overkill. <laughs> uh, you can't really say that payday. Payday, payday's good, but the, uh, payday, uh, payday two have run for very many years, yeah. and they're very, very good at what they do. Yeah, but when they first came out, there were there were a few problems. When they came out. Uh, the, the thing is, there were. Oh, there still is. Yeah, it's like any game nowadays. That's it. Uh, but I think with over overkill, I'm really excited for the game. Uh, for the fact, I think it's for the fact that it is Overkill that's doing it. The thing is, they they have made brilliant games. I love the Payday series myself. I think that's how us two actually became friends was because of that series. Um, because I think I had, yeah, it was. yeah it was. I think it was. I joined you for um. No, no. I joined CTG. I joined CTG. I, no, I thought the first game we actually played was uh, Payday Two together. No, Defiance. Was it Defiance? It yeah, was... I play with you guys in the fire, so we play Worms. Oh, God, yeah, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, one of the moments that I do remember quite fondly was when we was playing Payday 2. Uh, because I had... Oh, I get going to run in a second, because look what Ryan's has put. Oh, Daisy for Xbox. I want them to... Daisy. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm alright with that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm... <laughs> I think, like, like I said, uh, Overkill's um, Walking Dead looks really good. Um, I, I think when it comes out, I think it's coming out this year, isn't it? Now, or is it one of those games that's coming out in February? <laughs> Probably in February. Everything's coming out in February. February seems to be the month at the moment. Uh, Overkill's the Walking Dead. Um, it is coming out. It says 2018. I know it did get a release date. So, um. Yeah, it's it's going to be cool for. Yeah. Or three. Because uh, I think they ended up announcing it during the PC gaming show that none of us actually watched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even watch that. Oh, uh, as if you remember what game you first played. I don't remember the first game I played. Oh, 6th of November is when it comes out. Um, Ever Kills the Walking Dead. Um, so a way out too. I think it's a bit too soon for a way out too, mate. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, and um, so yeah, Tim also Shadow is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, was in, uh, shown off a bit more as well. Um, I'm... yeah, it looks good. Everyone's gonna buy it because it's Tomb Raider. Yeah, uh, there you go. End of story. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you t- with each other. What? Well, no, so I just remember we covered it in a podcast before where I, um... So I remember I played Defiance with him, the first time I actually played a game properly with him, which was, I don't know, I think in the video, but it was on the Xbox, and it was Worms, because we spoke about it before. Yeah, uh, we really should do Hmm. So I'm bullied being my first game. <laughs> yes, I do. And now I get my revenge. Oh, yeah, by blowing up barrels in my hands. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, Ryan, Daisy for Xbox, don't even waste time. Yeah, seriously, mate. It's just, um, yeah. Do not waste your time with Daisy. I think I, that's the thing. I think all those kind of things have really kind of fell flat at the way time. So, Daisy, I've I've got hundreds of hours on. Um, I played it a lot. I streamed it a lot when I first started streaming, and it was good. 
but Dean Hall, who was in charge of that, left. Yeah, what did he go off and do? Uh, I just think he had enough of it. Yeah, he has been working on the games, but he left the company, Daisy, whoever maker Daisy, he left them because he he just didn't see it going anywhere. And they are still updating it. It's still in early access. I brought Daisy five years ago. Yeah. About five years ago. Oh, God. I can't is... remember if I had, I had... I had a laptop at that point. So, yeah, it was about five, six years ago. So what went wrong with DayZ? It come very stale. I think it... Very quickly. I think it's like with anything that was early access, especially around that time. Um, I think it's that it... A lot of people end up playing it and it wasn't updating fast enough. Didn't give you enough. There's a lot of bugs. It's like Daisy started off as a mod for Armor Two. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been Armor Two at the time. Yeah. So it started off as a mod for Armor Two. It was very popular. Now this has happened a few times. PUBG was a mod for Armor Three. I think so. Yeah. Um. So it people make the mods and it gets very popular. The mod gets very popular. So they try and make it into a game. The game gets very popular. Then it doesn't work. Yeah, it, it just it just stops working after a while. Uh, you know, people have been very accessible in um, early access. You know, like Ark, which is now not that successful. Yeah, they had um, their own problems. I think they kind of went a lot. I think the huge thing where a lot of people got pulled away from them was when they decided to give us uh, try and sell us DLC when the game was still in early access. I personally do not have a problem with that. I brought the DLC. Um, it gave you a lot, but they also gave you free DLC. Uh, I think they just got complacent on what they needed to be achieving. Yeah. Like, they were like, we're updating the graphics, we're updating this, we're updating this. But there was still so many bugs with the optimization that updating the graphics made it worse. You know, I have, I have 1,500 hours on art. Yeah. Before pre early access, but also they bumped the price up to 60 quid. Well, it's, not, it's not a triple A title. Well, it's like um, another game which is uh, coming out of early access uh, in August, which I ended up buying when it was in alpha. Um, uh, we Happy Few. Uh, I ended up playing it when it first came out uh, in the alpha, and the thing is, yes. it was a shell of a game, but I think... I really wish I brought that in early access. Yeah, it is really looking good when it's coming out I... in my mate's still got an access. Like, my mate's got an access, yeah. and I saw him playing it recently, and I'm very upset. I'm gonna I, I'm going to be honest. I've I've not played it yet uh, since. It's it is it is amazing. Yeah. yeah I think if they allow it in Australia, it'd be even better. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I think the last time, like I said, the last time I ended up playing it was when it first came out in the early access, which was an alpha build. It was clear enough that it was a pre. It wasn't even alpha. It was pre-alpha. And yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it was more of a, a sandbox than anything that was happening in there. There was barely any story there. And I think the only reason I remember it was because it was shown off during the Xbox E3 press conference. And it yeah. looked, the game is looking really good. Um, yeah, absolutely. But the, that's the thing. It's proven that you got both sides of the coin with this. That sometimes early access games do actually work quite well, even to this day. And then you've got yeah. some where they don't. And uh, is looking at like uh, Daisy. A lot of them have been the walking simulators. I've noticed. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot of games you walk in, but now nowadays you just need a ship. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays a ship. Talking about ships. One more game. Um, Skull and Bones. No. No. <laughs> oh, not not for the point of the game. It looks good. It's great. It, but it's just black flag. You want to play the game? Buy buy black flag. It's a fuckload cheaper. It's not okay. You might be multiplayer, which is cool, and you can all turn each other. But it's not. It doesn't. It, I don't like the game. The whole idea. This is why I like Sea of Thieves over the idea of this game. Is... Sea of Thieves. You've got four people on a ship. You're working to get the ship moving. That one. You've got your ship moving because you've got people there. You can join other people, but they can turn on you. Yeah. It, it, I, it. I just think it's. You know, the Black Flag was amazing. It was. It is still my favorite Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not, I wasn't. A, I'm going to be honest here. When I, look, I do like Assassin's Creed myself. But I wasn't actually that much of a fan when it came to Black Flag. And a lot of people keep saying, "Oh, yeah, but it's the that you could control a boat." And I'm thinking, I wasn't. I don't really give a damn that I could control a boat. 
And the, the thing is, I'm serious. So that part of the game was the reason yeah. that kind of pulled me away from it was the fact that there was yeah. so much that you had to do with a boat. You know, it is each to its own, but it worked with the setting. You know, we would rather have done fast travel to each island. For well, a the thing is, like I said, I understand where it, it does work for the settings, but the thing is, I don't enjoy it as much as what other people seem to enjoy it. Yeah, so a point I mean, that I, I actually really making a game that. for it on its own. That, that I don't like. And especially, it doesn't look much different from what Black Flag looked like. Yeah. In this day and age. And it, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just, it's just going to be a blowing up thing. It, it, it's not, it's not something I'm going to play. Yeah. And uh, the other thing about that is that this is why I enjoy Sea of Thieves over what the Skull and Bone seems to be doing. Sea of Thieves doesn't, the thing is, it doesn't seem to be taking itself too seriously. There is some kind of humour behind what is happening with Sea of Thieves. If you look at... Oh, it's all about the humour. You see it in the videos and everything yeah, like you that. you see the humour. It's like, uh, the thing is, the video that came out with uh, for the E3, the thing is, it was giving <laughs> yeah. us all the serious things which come in, and at the end, you just want to know how much it is, don't you? <laughs> you give you 10 coin for it, yeah. yeah. And like, he pulls all the stuff out of his pockets for getting this massive cannonball out. You know, it's... Yeah. Yeah, it, it is about having fun and making yeah. stories. And where I, don't actually see, I don't see that happening in Skull and Bone. It doesn't it seems look... like it's taking itself too seriously. And I don't, yeah, think, I don't just, yeah. like that about a game. I don't like a game where it takes itself too seriously. The thing is, it, wants to be, it's a, it, it is what it is. People are going to play it. I'm not going to touch well, it. I, how much I'm, I like. I'm probably still going to have a go when the beta comes out. The thing is, I, the thing is, as much I can't say too much of it. Until I've actually had a go of it. The thing is, I might have a completely different idea, uh, uh, reaction to it when I'm playing the game, which I have had many times. But at the moment, I am not <laughs> interested in what they're doing with the Skull and Bones, just for the fact that yeah. I think it's it's too serious for what is actually it's, happening. It's, as I said, it's just black flag. Yeah. Multiplayer. Yeah. Um, shit. Yeah. So. Um, so. Yeah. Um. And because people did mention this, Spider-Man coming on the PlayStation 4 Insomniac. Yes. That looks really good. I'm really excited for that game. It, do, it does look really good. It looks like it's going to do well. Um, I think the thing is, uh, Insomniac do brilliantly when it comes to the games. The thing is, I've, I've been playing, um, you know, the re the reboot of Ratchet & Clank, which came up yeah. with the movie. I ended up, I've been playing that uh, lately. And yeah. I've, I've had so much fun playing that game. Um, and uh, the thing is, you can tell when it comes to Insomniac, they know how to make really good games with really good stories. I feel like it, I feel like it's one of those underrated uh, developers, if anything, sometimes. The thing is, you know, yeah. you know the name, but you don't usually picture what they've done um, sometimes. Yeah. And I feel like that hopefully what they're doing with the Spider-Man game will be that game that pushes... Them up to the front line and say, "This is, this is, this is what they do. This is why they have yeah. this good." But um, yeah, um, but I'm excited about it. I think um, I think it's definitely going to sell a lot of PS4s with just that one game, and that's coming yeah, out. Um, I think they said September the fifteenth. I think it is, isn't it? Mm. Um, which um, I know that Brian is uh dreading that sorry september the 7th it comes out not september the 15th um and i know that ryan is dreading that he ended up selling his playstation again because <laughs> i think he does want to play that game and i know he does want oh, to play yeah. that game um but uh yeah um i i want to try and avoid watching more of that game now the fact that it's coming out what is it two months away now yeah yeah um well, it's definitely something I will pick up as soon as I possibly can. Uh, yeah. Just for the fact that I know it's it's going to be good. And I, I don't give a damn if it's single player. The thing is, this is the thing I do some I do enjoy. Um, I love single player I, games. I do too, but um, it is definitely a game that I do want to play. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much... There is so many games that got announced. Yeah, we, we could be, be here all day talking about them, yeah. Um, we kind of want to play Sea of Thieves. So. We want to play some Sea of Thieves. <laughs> so, um, we are going to be talking just a little bit about some news stories that have happened over this week. Um, I know you don't want me to talk about this. And we no, don't... can we not? I just want to... It's just... Okay, go on. Okay. So, we, we, we do not talk about Fortnite. 
usually for the fact that I think a lot of us think it's a stupid game that has really been taken. But they ended up doing a missile launch today. No, it wasn't today. It was yesterday, sorry. Um, and, of course, like when there's a missile launch, the community got together to go and watch the launch of the missile. Apart from one guy, um, who is, we can name him, Elemental Ray, who uh, basically destroyed the ramp that held up almost half the players in their game and racked up the new Fortnite solo mode kills record with 48 kills. <laughs> oh, okay, Ryan, you do like Fortnite. I uh, know, sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's N I. Nice. It's N I T, mate. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, you know what? I love. Sometimes I hate griefers in games, but I do love the fact that so many people have gone to go and watch this one thing, and it just one shot. And before you say anything, you did that to me at one point, mate. <laughs> Look at you, Doc. What? We we what we, we played it when it was doing when we had to defend the uh, area, didn't we? At one point, when it was when it was just Fortnite, not Fortnite. Where was it? Oh, what? We went up the stairs. When I went up the yeah, stairs yeah. and you got that <laughs> one thing off, and I ended up falling all the way down. Yeah, that was brilliant. There's a video of that. There you have to watch it. That, yeah. Hey, Chatastic. Hey, how you doing, man? Fortnite is poop. Uh, I prefer on Fortnite. I love the single player, but they're not updating it anymore. I'm not going to play it. Yeah. I wasted money on it because they wanted to make money. Which is fair enough, but it's not. The, the thing is, it makes sense. If the, if there's one part that is more popular than the other, you work on the part that's more popular. You work on the part that gives you money in the end. Um, which is uh, it, it makes sense. Um, we don't fault um, Epic for that, but we just think I can't wait until the whole battle royale thing done. Really, and at, at the moment we don't see that happening. Yeah, but then you've got games like Battlefield who's put a battle royale mode in there. Call of Duty is now putting a battle uh, now, right? Yeah, but the no thing game. is, where uh, Battlefield might, but Call of Duty, I feel like it's not going to. I'm hoping. No, they are because they're going to incorporate. Oh, no, 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 no. I know that they are putting these in. I know it's going to be a different style, and uh, but no, I, I. I'm just I hoping that these want... kill those smaller ones and just pushes them out of the way, and then people realize that there's more to just this kind of mode of a game. But it goes back to like the MOBA kind of phase. I don't know wrong, MOBAs are still around, but they're not as as big as they were. You know, you when you know, League of Legends isn't always tough on Twitch anymore. Smite's not there. Yeah. You know, and stuff like that. You know, you know it's, it's a phase. It's a phase that's going to dwindle out, and we'll, we'll go back to single-player games. Because people are like, oh, single-player games is a dying breed. Sorry. Go play no, God of War. Go not. train Detroit Become Human. Go play Vampyr. Go play Horizon. Go play all these single-player games which have stories without being like, oh, you don't get anything from them. What do you get from Fortnite? Oh, I've got a fucking different pickaxe. Play fucking Minecraft, you twat. Hey, do not pick on Minecraft. <laughs> I like... Sorry, I, I, I kind of went in a bit of a rage yeah. there again. Uh, but yeah, I agree. When people do, uh, The thing that does annoy me the most is when people say single-player is dead. It is definitely not dead. And not just look at the games that are already available now. Look at what games are going to be... One game we just mentioned, Spider-Man. That's going to be single player. You've got Last of Us Part 2 that's Fear going to be coming Raider. out. You've got Gears 5. Gears 5. You've got Death Stranding, Halo. what the hell that is. I bet it's going to be a single player game. Yeah, <laughs> of course it will. It's not you know. dead. Single players are not dead. It's just that at the moment, this one thing is highly popular in... Multiplayer is not dead either. But at the same time, I feel that it should be working hand in hand. And I'm just... At the stage where, and, and I'm green with so many people at the moment, I'm just sick. I'm sick and tired of battle royales. And the thing is, when this dies, something else will take it take its place. Oh yeah, it's, it's always the way. The thing is, before battle royales, it was um, survival uh, simulator games. Before yeah. that, it was zombies in everything, and I mean everything had zombies where it didn't need to be. Yeah. So, yeah, and then like Division come out, which was a survivalist game yeah. without zombies, yeah. which was great. It done well for it, and like that was a big thing because a lot of things need zombies. I love zombie games. I love zombies. They're great. But the thing but is, every it, it was it was again logging them. Yeah, but the thing is, if you go back about a year, maybe two years ago, on the podcast, we talked about this that zombie games were basically everywhere. What the hell is going on? Or it's walking simulators. <laughs> yeah, but. 
Yeah. Uh, no. well, the ones that have done it well, you know, you got you got Dying Light, you got the zombie itself. I know, but uh, zombies. I know a lot, Ryan, we love zombies now, but at one point they were there just... There was a lot of games that done it well. <laughs> there just wasn't a lot of games that... There was a lot more games that didn't do the zombie yeah. genre very well. The, the, the thing is, it's going to be like that. The thing is, we look at, back at that, and there is those games that did really well. Like, for example, Red Dead Redemption did well with Undead Nightmare. Um, you could say Minecraft's yeah. got zombies. It's still good. I like the zombies in Minecraft. Um, and the thing is, there was many games that did zombies really well. Zomba, Zombie is another good game, which zombies really well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I, I, love, I love it. They don't deserve zombies. The thing it's is, like some game, you know, there are good, good, good MOBA games. There are good battle royale games, ish. You know, the 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 outlet. I it, I just think the kind of genres are taken a bit too. We can make money off this. We're gonna do it quickly. You know, the realm royale now. You got a Darwin project, which is very different to the rest of them. I I look. I think Darwin project project I did actually enjoy. The thing is, I like the it whole. It brought line. more to it. They brought they brought more to it, and I think the idea was they also brought a. What they classed as a director, which also affect yeah, the area. I enjoyed really that. Yeah, really good, especially if you're a streamer. Yeah, I, the thing is, I ended up playing it. I ended up doing it for a one shot. It was a really good game, but unfortunately, it's one of those games that ended up drowning under all the bullshit, which was uh, Fortnite and PUBG. Yeah, but it's just like Realm Royale. Realm, Realm Royale is quite popular. I played it mm. because you know it's good to kind of play a game for you absolutely mm. slaughter it yeah and i'm just and it was good it was very different it's not got like shotguns and machine guns it's got crossbows and one-shot rifles and this is you've got a proper shooter and swords and you turn to a chicken you can run away it's great fun and it's actually really good but it's not getting the recognition it needs because of yeah. fortnite people are like oh do you play fortnite oh why do you play fortnite it's a copy of fortnite well the thing Fortnite's is it's a copy of pub the thing is i've got a couple of friends who also do streaming apart from us lot um, and they have actually who are bit who are more successful streamers than us, and they have actually had it that people have come to them where they said, "Oh, what do you do?" And they say, "Oh, I uh, stream video games." First thing they come up to, "Oh, do you play, play Fortnite? Fortnite?" No. But then that was the same as League of Legends, as Smite, as hmm. DayZ, yeah. and stuff like that. It's just at the moment we're in a stage and i'm going to be honest i can already start seeing that the battle royale thing is starting to fall apart already and yeah. I'm, I'm just because i'm in one of those moods i'm hoping it falls out falls apart in the next couple of months so when battlefield 5 comes out when call of duty comes out it's already we don't give a damn <laughs> yeah and then activision and um ea can look at it and thinking yeah this is where we've screwed up yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think we've okay. had our round. I'm done running. Uh, yeah, up. sorry, I think we both did. Um, we... I told you not to start with it. I told you not yeah, to start I, with it. I, I just one. want to say one thing, though. When it comes to Fortnite and PUBG, look, if you love those games, by all means, I'm happy that you love a game. But at the moment, I feel like it's getting too much attention what they are. They're basically shells of games. It's one mode that's done really well. And I think Fortnite is a good example of that because it was not originally that. And unfortunately, the thing yeah. that it was originally has died, and it so annoying that. Yeah. Um, because that mode was actually really. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Um, just a few stories. Uh, so we know that there's a Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming, don't we? Yes, Jim Carrey's uh, Doctor Robotnik. He's gonna be Doctor Robotnik. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. It'd be a crap film, but it'd be good. I'll still watch it though. Um, <laughs> but uh, a fanboy. Yeah, of course. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. oh, uh, so VidCon was also this last week as well. Uh, did you hear about uh, TanaCon? <laughs> uh, it was basically a convention that um, a YouTuber named um, what's the name? Uh, I can't find her name. <laughs> oh, oh, Tana Mong or whatever it is um she ended up trying to make a convention that basically was another alternative to what was happening with vidcon um it ended up being a dash con yeah yeah it fell so apart and it was uh so so by 10 a.m friday when tanacon tickets buyers were sold by a management company good times that officially registration would begin a parking lot behind anaheim uh hotel was already lined up with fans um, they planned to meet once they got inside the hotel lobby. 
Jane Dawson, actress Bella Fawn, never heard of her. <laughs> um, and some popular creators were scheduled to appear there. And um, it just, it really just messed up. And it, no entertainment in something like that, it becomes chaotic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm happy that it basically fell apart. And I think she was one of those who was part of, um, what's his face? Uh, group, the one, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Rumors are Google is making a video game console. <laughs> cool. Yeah, <laughs> I've got. Be an Android thing. It's gonna be an Android thing. It's gonna be Ouya point two. <laughs> did Nintendo announce anything? Yeah, they be they did actually. Extra cardboard. <laughs> no. Uh, they did. Uh, the main point was that they was going to talk about um, Smash Bros, uh, and they've actually announced that uh, it's called Smash Bros Ultimate, and it's going to be including all characters that have been that's ever been in the Smash Bros series. So things like Solid Snake is going to be in that game, uh, Pac Man, Sonic. Um, you know what? I'm. I'm. I, I, be honest with me. I like Smash Bros. and I'm quite excited for this game. And of course, it's going to be coming out this year as well. The Nintendo mainly spoke about games which are going to be coming out this year or early, early next year. So there wasn't any talk about um, uh, the new, new Pokemon or Metroid Prime Four or things like that. So, uh, but that's what Nintendo do. They, they, they know, usually don't really yeah. talk about what's very far in the future unless they've got to. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, I think that is pretty much it. There, it has been... The uh, main news has been um, what is happening in uh, uh, E3 this year. Um, yeah. I think there is one story that we, we didn't talk about, but I think it would have been too long anyway. Um, about... PlayStation stance on um, uh, what's it called uh, crossplay. Uh, we've spoken yeah. about that quite often, and uh, that seems to be getting <laughs> a lot worse for them. I think they're trying to find an alternative at the moment. PlayStation have said, "Yeah, there is an alternative. Just say yes." <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that's pretty much all we've got to talk about. I think we've covered a lot. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, any games you're excited about coming out this month yourself, mate? No. No, not really. Wait. Oh, we're in July, aren't we? We're in July, yeah. No. No, uh, yeah, this... Sea of Thieves update, that's about it. are looking forward to the Sea of Thieves update. Um, um, you know what, there is one game that I'm looking forward to, and I know you're going to really annoy me, which is a remaster. Um, Red Faction Gorilla Remastered is going to be coming see, out. Oh, just do the originals. The originals are sick. Yeah, I, do, you, do you know what? I, when I, because um, if people haven't seen it yet... We I usually, didn't like Gorilla. I, the thing is, if people haven't seen it, we usually do a, a, a five games we're interested in for the month. This month was so tough for me to do because it is such a shallow pool of what is coming out. Um, yeah. And... Um, the thing is, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, oh yeah, it's uh, Red Faction. It's going to be the one with Mr. Toots. No, it's not. It's the one that came after that game. I look in it, I'm thinking, I want Mr. Toots. <laughs> I, want, yeah. I want my unicorn that shoots um, rainbows out of its ass. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's... Well, I just want the original Red Factions, yep. the old ones. I, you know, I'm, I'm still excited about it for the fact that it's... If you're going to remaster anything, actually remaster a decent game, please. <laughs> Um, but either way, it's THQ. Um, I think I like it for the fact that it's volition, uh, volition that have uh, they have made the original and they have helped a little bit with this one as well. If people don't know yeah. who they are, they're the guys that made uh, the Saints Row series. So, um, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of Saints Row. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm excited about. That's it, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's a very weak month. I'm just going to say that now. Uh, if you do want to see, um, if you're watching the repeat of this on YouTube, uh, there's a link in the top corner right now, which you can go and see the top five that we did. Um, 
But uh, State of K uh, DLC is what I'm looking forward to, Ryan. So, oh uh, yeah, State of the K two is getting some DLC. I forgot about that. Mm. I haven't played that game properly. Gonna be honest, mate. Um, I mean, my opinion, I thought it'd be good fun. Uh, I think I should really jump back into it. Um, which, by the way, again, if you have got Games Pass, that is available on there. Um, um so, mate. I know you've got plans this month. Do you want to talk about what plans you have got this month yourself? Yes. So on the 21st. Yes. Yeah, 21st of July, I am doing a 24-hour stream on the Sea of Thieves for Cherry. Yes. So um, I'm, I'm definitely trying to be there as much as I possibly can as well. Um, yeah. His main aim is to try and get the legend... And then, uh, oh, I'll course. definitely get legendary. If I oh, god, uh, I think uh, let's make a new aim. Try and make me a legend. <laughs> uh, that, I can't do that in 24 hours. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, of course, uh, we doc, of course, doing 24 hour stream. Uh, what was it for again? Sorry, uh, Macmillan Cancer. For Macmillan so. Cancer, um, search the care home ones, yeah, Macmillan, Macmillan. Sarah Macmillan. Same at Miller. <laughs> For some reason, it's gone out of my head. Well, the thing is, we'll, we'll get more information. Like I said it is three weeks away yes. from now. Um, and we'll be putting all the stuff up yeah. on Twitter, Facebook, <sighs> forums. We will we'll mention it as well in a video uh, beforehand as well. To... I'll have everything my stream and stuff so we, like that. We, we still have a few things to plan out. But yeah, the, that is our next 24 hour um, charity thing that we're doing. Uh, that is our main point that we're doing month as well. Uh, well, we do recommend, please come and watch. Um, I will be host, uh, hosting it. Uh, is it just going to be on Mixer? It will just be on Mixer. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm primarily on Mixer yeah, so, now. So you can find it at mixer.com forward slash uh, the Doc Robin. The Doc Robin, um, yeah. And of course, um, yeah, you can find him on there. A lot of Sea of Thieves, but he does play other games as well, I promise you. He yeah, I, I do stream other games. I'm primarily a Sea of Thieves streamer. Yeah. Um, and that's what I play. I have, more fun pl I have a lot more fun playing that. I, I do, like I said, I we've spoken about it a lot today. I do enjoy it a lot myself as well. Yeah, just, just go and follow me up on Mixer. And of course, uh, with me, um, my plans, of course, I'm going to be helping Doc with the 24-hour stream uh, as much as I possibly can. Uh, we have got a couple of plans that we are going to be doing this month, which I don't think we can really talk about at the moment, for the fact that we haven't got them properly planned. Um, <laughs> um, but uh, video-wise, what we've got coming out, uh, we have got some more of um, the game night stuff that is coming out. Uh, at the moment, we're doing Usual Words, which came out on Sunday, uh, where I talk about Dinosaur Unicorn. And... Um, Doc's uh, present for poor children in a stocking. <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> it's, it, go and watch the video. Um, <laughs> um, also, of course, we have um, stuff that we did for the last uh, 24 hour coming out as well. At the moment, we've got uh, Keep Talking, Nobody Explodes. And um, I think Trivial Pursuit has just finished. We've got one bit of that. Uh, me and Ryan's um, a way out, continuing at the moment as well, and of course we have got a couple of one shots that we'll be doing as well. Um, I think Captain Spirit is one that's in the pipe work we I'm going to be doing. We might actually do that as a series. It depends on how long that game is actually. Um, so uh, yeah, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash gdw2007, mixer.com forward slash crave your game. Uh, youtube.com forward slash crave your games and on twitter of course at crave your game and of course if you're 18 and over and you want to join a very friendly game community you can do so by going to crave the game .com. there we are i think that's everything and of course you can find yeah. ryan as well mixer.com forward slash iron ryan that's i-r-n-r-y-n <laughs> but we might as well yeah. mention him because he's been in chat with us all day <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think that's it. That is everything we've got to cover this month. And if you're watching us live, you go to Mixer uh, in about 15 minutes. About 15 I'll be live minutes, with yeah. CFEs. Yeah, so uh, either you can, if you're on Mixer now watching this, you can either stay, uh, we'll put this on as a co host for it, or like I said, go to mixer.com forward slash the dot robin uh, to go and watch it as well. Uh, and we are going to be doing some CFEs tonight 
Um, a and... big exploding barrel. Yes, we're going to go and sort some. There's some skeletons that have been stealing things that these should not be holding. And the explosions are ten times worse. And I have a plan. A plan for an awesome clip. Oh. Wait a second. Okay. Well, uh, of course. So until next time, Doc, thank you for joining me. Ryan, thank you for joining us in the chat, and we'll be back with some more gaming news next month. Until then, thank you. And goodbye. Do everybody. Pips. I froze while I was doing some. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's go. I want to just transition. So we do this. There's things on the side that says like, comment, and subscribe, and special at the moment. Transition. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Isn't it? Oh, and also, there's some videos here that you can go and look at. Go and watch them. Yeah, you, they, we're pointing. They can't see us. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're everywhere. So, uh, yeah. let's go. Let's go, guys.